Hey, this is Ish, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add transitions in between clips in Adobe Premiere Elements just like this. If you're new to my channel though, it's focused on travel, experiences, and fun. One of the experiences I share on my channel is my experience editing and creating videos for YouTube. I specifically use the software Adobe Premiere Elements for all my video editing. If you want to learn the basics and some really cool tricks, then I recommend you hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you never miss a new video. To start out, I'm going to jump into guided mode. Adobe Premiere Elements does a good job of explaining the basics, but let's say they miss some elements. After I go through guided mode, I'll explain the details you need to know to really make your transitions seem more professional. I'm in guided mode, basics, and then I'm in add transitions between clips. It says to smooth out jumps between clips with simple transitions that add interest and drama to your movie. So I'm going to select this file and then as you can see it automatically move you over from guided to expert mode so now I'm going to click it says add media to a video clip so I'm going to select add media and then I'm going to go it says click any media source I'm going to click files and folders so I already have my files stored so I'm going to select these four clips and then it's going to bring them in here so the clips you've added and stored in the project assets bin drag and drop the clips to video one track on your timeline. So these four clips I actually downloaded from Canva. So I have the Canva Pro membership. So I'm able to get these files and be able to use them in my video. It says a transition is a way of gradually changing from one video clip to another to join them together into a movie. You can add transitions by first clicking on the transitions on the action bar. So I'm going to select transitions over here on the action bar. And then it says a transition panel shows all the transition options available. Drag and drop the desired transition between two clips to create the effect. When you're done, you will see a box show up overlaps the two video clips. So I'm going to click dip to black. So I'm going to drag it over here. So this is the transitions adjustment box is what allows you to do different things. And I'll get more into that. And after I finish the guided mode, I'm going to select apply. And now it says, now that you're done, you may want to try out the other transitions on the rest of your movie. Post a guided edit to apply transitions to the entire sequence. Select all video clips. Do a right click and choose apply default transition from timeline menu. And that's if you want to apply to all. So again, I'll get into that. But right here, as you can see, it dips to black and then it's the next video. So it's going to dip to black and then it's going to go to the next video. What I'm going to do though right now is show you some more transitions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this. I'm going to select delete. And these clips are actually I'm going to click delete audio. And what I'm going to actually do is arrange these clips. So to arrange them, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to drag it up into the back. I want this to be last. To open up, I'm going to take this, I'm going to drag it, just basically holding the left mouse and dragging the clip. You can move the clips around and then I wanted this one to be second. I want this one to be third and then I want this clip to be fourth. So I'm just dragging, holding the left mouse key. I'm just dragging the clips around. That's the opening, the middle and what I'm going to do is has a white part in there. I'm going to go to motion. I'm going to go to scale and I'm just going to scale it up. Say to 105 gets rid of the white section that was in that clip. So these are how the clips look normally before adding the transitions. First one I'm going to add, I'm going to go back to the transitions tab. And if you want to make this easier to view, you can always drag this slider up. So I'm going to put the slider here. I'm going to drag this up. So this is more in view and then I don't need these others right now so i'm going to click delete empty tracks that way that's easier for you to be able to view and see what i'm doing and as i drag it over to the timeline i'm going to go to transitions is that if you click here it's going to give you all the different types of transitions so there's 3d motion dissolve iris map um, then you have of course picture wipe straps and then you'll also, if you go here, this will show you the frequently used transitions. So the ones that you mainly use a lot will be stored right here. And then there's also audio transitions, which is constant gain and constant power. If you want to look for a specific one, the search icon right there, I'm going to search for metallic. So metallic ice, this is one of the transitions. So what I'm going to do to show again, 
I'm going to take the transition and I'm going to take it over and drag it to the timeline. When you drag it to the timeline, let me just click apply on the timeline. That's the transition being applied. When you click on the transition, if you hold your mouse over it or select it, you'll see the actual, they'll give you a preview of the transition. This right here, think of it as clip A. And then the second clip is clip B. So this is this transition, what I'm, what you're seeing here. That transition right there, that is what's going on here, going from clip A to clip B. So that is a metallic transition. All right, so if you click here, what I'm going to do is show you what this transition menus go through. So you have click to replace transition, you have the option to delete, and then you have the option to change the duration. So let's say, for example, I wanted to make this two seconds, right? And then I click apply. What you see is this right here it got bigger because it's longer and it's also the option if you want to drag that say more in one direction you can drag it as a well to change the length of the transition so now the transition starts out earlier in the clip at the end of the clip and then early at the beginning of this clip so if I select it again that's going to tell me the transition is three seconds and then if you also select more the thing to note is you can if I put right clip that's what it looked like. So now if you see this clip ends and just in that little bit of overlap is when the transition will be there into that new clip. So then if I click it again, I click more. One thing that I learned recently when messing around with this is make sure to use the scroll bar. So if you scroll down, they're going to actually give you more options. So you can actually pick which point when when you want it to start if you want it to start a little bit more in there not to be gradual to but kind of be jump right in and as well if you want to transition kind of where you want it to end at in the next clip so those are options that you can play around with and again here it allows you to play around so if you were to change it down here you can see should be able to see in there the the difference or the preview but for now I'm just gonna leave it the way it is um, only thing I'm gonna do is change this back to two and put it back in between clips so now you see it's back it jumped back to in between clips so next I'm gonna show is gonna be the cross dissolve so again here you can preview the clip I'm gonna select it and you can see the cross dissolve going from A to B so I'm going to select it and drag it in between the clips. Again, I'm going to select two seconds and then I'm going to look at the options. It gives me more. I want it between the clips. Um, and for cross dissolve, it's pretty, it's not too many options to change there, but it is one of the, the standard ones that's used or default ones that's used. So if I'm going to drag it and then as you can see, there is the cross dissolve between the two clips. The next example I'm going to show will be roll. So I'm going to, again, you take it and you drag it. I'm going to select two seconds and roll has a lot more different options. So I'm going to select more, but you gotta go more still keep it in between the clips. But if you go, you can see roll has the option of how you want it to roll. Do you want it to roll from west to east, right? So if I play that, that's what it looks like west to east, or do I want it to roll from north to south? Do I want it to roll from east to west or do I want it to roll from south to north? So that gives you the options of how you want it to go. And then also you can reverse it. Um, so reversing it would just basically change it around from south to north, north to south. So just going in a different direction doesn't do much in this situation. But let's first um, I'll look. We'll just do the standard west to east. So I'm going to apply that. So I'm going to click play. As you see, that's west to east. Uh, if I click it again, I'm going to do more. Then you can do north to south. All right, so if you want to apply transitions to each of the clips, 
or to all the clips at one time, you can draw a box um, by holding the left mouse button down and just drawing a box over all four. Or you can on the keyboard select Control A. Then what you want to do is you want to right click. You want to select Timeline, and then you want to select Apply Default Transition. It says insufficient media. This transition will contain repeated frames. This is a warning, not an error. What it means is at the end of the clip, there are not enough frames for this transition to work. So the clip stops. So it is repeating the frame. To fix it, you need to remove frames from the end of the clip. If you're fine with it, you can leave it. So I'll show you. Um, I'll do an example and show you what it looks like. But as you can see right now, the transition has been applied to all of the, the frames. But as you can see, it's dissolving. It's doing a cross dissolve. It's doing a cross dissolve. And then it's, it looks, I mean, and that one, it looks good. And this one, it looks good. And that one looks good. But if you wanted to not have that error, the way to do that is let me delete these. If you would just go to the end of these clips and just take off a couple frames. Go one, two, three. Cut. And then go to the end of this one. Go over one, two, three, just to cut some of the frames off. And then what I would do is I would just go here, highlight all four again. Then I would right click, do timeline, apply default transition. And then as you can see, come up anymore. And then you have them now. So if you want to change what the default is though, is that you go to over here in the window, select it, right click, and say set selected as default transition. And you can do that with any of the different ones that are in here. Hey, so that's how you apply transitions in Adobe Premiere Elements 2020. If you got value out of this video, then hit the like button, subscribe. Um, let me know down below what transitions you use in your videos. So another thing to note though, um, in Adobe Premiere Elements 2020 is if you want to be able to do a fade. So if you want to trans just the video to fade out, that's simple. That's simply just do a right click, click fade, and then you can do fade out video. And I don't have audio in this clip, but you can also do the same thing with fade out audio and it would fade the audio out. So when the thing to note when you do a fade though, is as you can see, did the fade here. So this yellow line is showing the video. And then as the yellow line goes down right here, you're going to see the yellow down line go down. Now the video fades out. So same thing. So that's how they represent a fade in a double premiere element. So if I want to do a fade in a fade in video, you see the line now comes from there. So now basically I'm going to fade out this video. That line is coming from here all the way down to here and then as you can see it fades in so that's how you would recognize a fade in your video versus the if I were to do the effect transition of dip to black let me go to zoom if I were to do dip to black and put it here and I would say between clips so this is how a fade looks and then dip to black, which is pretty much, which is the same thing really as a fade. That's how it shows it. But this is basically with this fade and these, you can just drag this if you wanted to drag this across with a fade. So that allows you to, gives you from some more flexibility there. If you wanted to just drag it, have it the fade start a little bit more earlier, but then come in quicker in another clip. So that's another way to do a transition versus fade to black. So if you got value out of this video, then hit the like button, subscribe, 
and make sure you check out my Adobe Premiere Elements playlist or the next video below. My name is Ish and I challenge you to go out there and have a new experience today.